when the 21st century would be written on the pages of history, one thing needs to be well mentioned. That when Korea and America were blooming their defenses, Japan, France, Australia were striving to become the superpower, China leading in manufacturing and SAL giving employment to its citizens, India and the people herein were fighting for the cow and its dung, the temples and the mosques. The famous Bengali writer Bankim Chandra Chatterjee in his uh, famous well-known song Bande Matram hails India as the mother goddess Devi to whom all Indians irrespective of their race and religion are beholden for her bounties. But sadly, this is not the condition today. India has been fragmented on the grounds of religion at different places in different times of the era. Different religions have differences in their opinions. Fine. But these differences have not been just limited to opinions. They, the history speaks aloud the fact that because of these differences, javelins of hatred have been thrown from one religion to the other. And if you see any form of history, you would be finding many religious violences that have taken place in, the, in India. The murder on 28 September 2015 of, in, uh, at Dadri of the 52-year-old Muhammad Aklak Saifi over the consumption of beef this shows the hatred that has arisen due to differences in ideologies and differences in beliefs. Two months ago, here at Jaipur, a petty dispute between a constable and a couple led into a violent riot between the Hindus and the Muslims. Unfold the pages of history, you would again find numerous religious violences that have taken place, proving the fact that religion is, has been the ground of division in India. Starting from uh, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi being assassinated by her two Sikh bodyguards on 31st October 1984 and the subsequent anti-Sikh riots that took place in retaliation. The hundreds of Kashmiri Brahman Pandits being killed in Kashmir in between the years 1989 to 1990. The demolition of the Babri Masjid in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh. In 1992, the 2002 Gujarat communal riots which killed hundreds of Muslim and Hindu brothers and sisters. The attack on Christians in Odisha in 2007 and uh, the killing of the Hindu Guru Lakshmanand and his four disciples in September 2008. The list is endless. It, has, it, it shows that India is being divided. The, this is a proven fact, my friend. And one more thing is that if I agree to the fact that every religion claims peace, every religion claims love, brotherhood, forgiveness. But look at those, look at these religious fights. You will find humanity wailing and crying for shelter. This is what we have found today. Secondly, the religion has brought about a division in gender also in our country. Remember one thing, patriarchy which we blame today has entered and has reared up his head into our society in the name of religion. Women are not being allowed inside temples during menstruation because again this religion calls a menstruating woman impure. <laughs> this religion has made our eyes blind. We have stopped our rational thinking. We have failed to realize that purity and impurity is something which is needs to be judged on the basis of one's actions and one's thoughts. And if uh, th this is what is the third second thing the third thing is that we have not even left the innocent elements of nature in our fights and clashes we have divided poor animals into and made them religious symbols the cow has now become a hindu the Mus the goat a muslim this is what i am not an atheist to oppose religion but this is the fact and i cannot deny it Today, we have enemies standing outside at the door, and here we are nurturing up enmity within ourselves. Faith, undoubtedly, faith today is a very inflammable thing, very inflammable thing, and is an easily politicized conversation. And it is this faith, this religion, that is being divided, that is dividing our country, our motherland. Thank you.